In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add images to text in Photopea. So we'll start off by just choosing the type tool, or you can press T as a shortcut. I'm just going to click down here and I'm going to type the word sunset. And I'll use this as my example. Let's just put that in the middle. Somewhere like there. So I've got my type layer. Now I need to bring in an image. So I've got saved on my desktop a JPEG, which I'll just drag into PhotoP Canvas and let go. And this is just a simple and easy way to actually import images into your live project. You can just drag them from your desktop or anywhere else into the live project and it will just load it in as a layer. And I'm just making sure that it's bigger than the actual text so we don't get any gaps. Now what you need to do is to make sure that your image is directly above the text layer that you want to apply it to. And once that's in place, if you right click on the image layer in the layers palette here and choose clipping mask. And what a clipping mask is, as you can see here, there's a little downwards arrow to the left hand side of the image icon in the layers stack. And what a clipping mask is, is it's simply only making that image visible where the pixels exist on the layer below. So what that means for us is if we go onto the image layer and we start to move it around, you can see that it moves the image within the text. So we can reposition the image within the text now and get a nice, a nice balance. Maybe want a bit more of the sky in it and some of the colors there. See, I really like that. You get a bit of the sea and a bit of the sunset yellow there. So once you're happy with that, to lock this in place and make sure that the image doesn't move in relation to the text when you're then designing your project, whatever it may be, there are two ways to do it. And I'll show you both here quickly. Select one layer and then hold the shift key and select the other layer. So they're both selected and go down to the bottom of the layers palette and click on the folder icon, which will add them to a new folder. Now, if you make sure that the folder itself is selected, when you move it, the object, it will move the text and the image in conjunction. So they're kind of locked together and you can now do whatever you like to this, resize it, rotate it, and it will stay fixed position. If you wanted to adjust the position, all you have to do is just twirl open the folder in the layers panel here, just highlight the image itself, reposition. And then when you go back to moving it from the folder, it will be locked in place again. Now, another way to do this, I'm just going to sort of undo that and remove the folder. Another way to achieve the same thing if you didn't want to have a folder is highlight both the layers again by clicking one and holding shift and clicking the other and go down to the bottom again. But instead of clicking the new folder icon, click this little chain link icon here. And as you can see now, it's put that icon next to both layers in the layers panel. And this is just locked these together. So even though they're not in a folder, if we click on either one now, and we go to move it, as you can see, they've been locked together. So they won't move independently of one another, which again means that you can reposition the text and do whatever you like. And then if you get to a point where you do want to adjust the image position within the text, you can just simply reverse the process, highlight them both, click on the little chain again, and you'll notice it disappears from the layers and the layer, layers panel. And now we're back to being able to move the image around within the text. So that's just a really quick and easy way to get really impactful text by using clipping masks to make images appear only where the pixels of the text are.